Hello, good day to you. My name is Epsiba Ashaolu, and this is a musing of the spirit. This is a channel where we reveal the intent and the mind of the spirit to help give you joy, peace, and encouragement in your day-to-day -day living as a Christian. If you are new to my channel, I want you to subscribe by pressing the subscribe button and also press the notification bell so that each time I drop new video, you'll be the first to know and watch them. Amen. So now, go right, uh, go ahead and uh, subscribe to the channel. In the early hours of this morning, I shared a video, a live video actually, on uh, the topic, you are not alone. The presence of the Lord is with you. It's a video that encourages you if you are passing through issues in life and uh, you feel deserted, you feel all alone. You need to watch it. You need to watch it. And these are uh, the scriptures I'm going to share here. We also uh, re emphasize the fact that you are not alone. God is with you in your battle. Whatever you are going through, you are not going through it alone. The Lord is with you. Hallelujah. So in this video today, I'll be sharing with you five Bible verses that shows that God is with you. It shows that you are not alone. You know, it's, it brings a kind of comfort to your heart when you know that you are not alone in this situation. It just comforts you, gives you confidence and uh, brings hope. Yeah, it brings hope to your heart that you know that you are not alone, that God is with you. And whatever you are going through will come to an end. It has not come to stay. It's come to pass. So it will pass. It will pass. So this is the Spirit of the Lord encouraging you to hang in there. Hang in there and hold on to God. Because you will come out victoriously. It will amaze you what God will do with your life. Hallelujah. So the first scripture I want to share with you is found in the book of Revelation 21 and verse 3. It says, And I heard a loud voice from the throne saying, Behold, the dwelling place of God is with man. He will dwell with them and they will be his people and God himself will be with them as their God. Wow! This is lovely and encouraging. See, the dwelling place of God is with man. God dwells in man. He dwells in us. Hallelujah. He will dwell with us and we will be his people and God himself will be with us as our God. What more can you get from God? He said, God, the dwelling place of God is with man. That means God dwells in us. We are vessels and God dwells in us. This is encouraging. So whatever you are going through, know. That you are not alone. The God inside of you will rise up to the occasion and bring you victory in every area of your life. In the name of Jesus. The second scripture is in the book of Psalm 23 and verse 4. And it reads, Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. For you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. This is another great scripture that shows that God is with you. The presence of God is with you. He said, even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I don't know the valley you are walking through. I don't know if it is the valley of a financial hardship, no work, no job, no family, nothing. You're just alone there. You are walking through that valley. You are walking through that valley, different kinds of valleys in life. I don't know the one that is tying you down. I don't know the one that is disturbing you. It may be sickness in your body. Whatever the valley is, the Bible says you will fear no evil because God is with you. His rod and his staff, they comfort you. So whatever valley you are in right now, know that God is with you. He is with you. He has not left. He will not leave you, nor forsake you. Don't be discouraged. Don't be tired. Don't be dejected. Take, stand up today because the Lord is with you. Hang in there. The Lord will come for you and will come through.
for you in Jesus' name. Amen. The third scripture is in the book of Exodus chapter 33 and verse 14. And it said, my presence will go with you and I will give you rest. Child of God, whatever you are going through, know that the presence of the Lord is with you. Wherever you are on the surface of the earth, the Lord is with you and he will give you rest. All round rest will be your portion. If you can only hang in there, if you can only hold on to him, if you can only trust in his word and wait patiently for him, the Lord will come true for you. Hallelujah. Amen. The fourth scripture is in the book of Psalm 46 and verse 1. And it says, God is our refuge and strength. Oh, wow. The Lord is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. He is our refuge and strength. It is only in God that we can find refuge. It is only in God that you can find strength. So hold on to him. The Lord will strengthen you. The Lord will raise you up. The Lord will bless you again. The Lord will come true for you in your circumstances. Don't give up. No, not yet. It is not an option. Fight and fight true. And I know that the Lord God of heaven we give you victory in the name of Jesus. He is a very present help in trouble. He does not leave. Even though family and friends desert you, don't worry. The Lord will not leave nor forsake you. He will be with you right to the end. He will be with you right to the end. Hallelujah. The fifth scripture is taken from the book of Genesis 28 and verse 15. It says, Behold, I am with you. And we keep you wherever you go, and I will bring you back to this land, for I will not leave you until I have done what I have promised you. Hallelujah to God in the highest. He said he will not leave you until he has done what he has promised you. The Lord will not leave you until you get your healing. The Lord will not leave you until you get that good job you are searching for. The Lord will not leave you until he blesses you with, finance, with finance, finances enough to meet up with your responsibilities. He will not leave you until you come out victoriously. What a great promise we have in the word of God. Say so he will be with you and will keep you wherever you go. He will be with you and will keep you wherever you go. I want you to keep, I want you to keep the scriptures in your heart today keep them read them and repeat them confess them confession brings possession read confess and confess them until they become a reality to you hallelujah the word of the lord is true the word of the lord is great the word of the lord is powerful hold on to it and you will never regret it it will work for you it's been working it will work for you in the name of Jesus. I hope you are blessed by this scripture. Join me tomorrow again for another set of scriptures for our discussion. If you have not watched the video I released earlier this morning, please go watch it. I will leave the, I will leave the link up here so that you can click it and watch it and be encouraged to move on in life. Life is good and I know the Lord is also good and your life also will be good in the name of Jesus. Thank you for thank you for watching. God loves you and I love you too. Bye bye.